Hello, Darth Vegan here, bringing you a new game by the developers Double Damage. This is Rebel Galaxy. Rebel Galaxy is a space shoot 'em up, swash buckling adventure game. Uh, kind of has a reminiscent feel of, say, like uh, Firefly or Wing Commander Privateer meets. I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting. I like it a lot. Um, it's uh, it's a little bit different in that there is a 2D plane of uh, the playing field instead of being completely 3D. So it kind of gives you a sense, that, a feeling that it's 3D, but in reality it is only on a 2D plane, similar to like a, a naval battle game. So uh, the music is really cool in this game, however I think it may be copyrighted and so I had to use some other music on the... Uh, uh, in the game, so I hope you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get started and see what we can do in Rebel Galaxy. So I'm going to start a new game. I've uh, I've tried a, a couple of different uh, games and played about a little over an hour. So um, I think I've got the controls down for the most part, and uh, we'll get started. Ago, you received a cryptic message from your aunt Juno, the family black sheep who you haven't seen or heard from in over ten years. The message provided the access codes to the Rasputin, a near derelict spacecraft and a relic of her younger days. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City, an out-of-the-way space station with a questionable reputation. She practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. At last. This is a place of liars thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. Rebel Galaxy. Mm-hmm. Reckon I want me some mustard and biscuits. Alright. Incoming hell. So here we are at uh, the Rust City Station. Oh, there you are. Your aunt asked me to keep an eye out for you. I see you found her old ship. Bring it into the dock and meet me at the bar. I have something for you. <laughs> oh, look at these cute little eyeballs. Um, I can say, who are you? You know my aunt, or I'll see you shortly. Who are you? Where are my manners? I'm Orzu. An old friend of your aunt's back in my younger, wilder days. Now I own the bar here, and life is quieter. I see. Well, I guess I'll see you after I knock. See you soon. Alright, so um, we're going to dock here at the, uh, at the station. And, uh, and then we'll um, get started. So we have this uh, Rasputin ship, and it's kind of a junker. And <laughs> when you first start, you don't have much in the way of weapons or armor or shields or anything like that. So um, we're gonna want to use our first bit of money that we get to um, to get this thing upgraded. So let's meet with Orzu and see what we can do about this uh, this missing Ant Juno. Oh, my, you're the spitting image of Juno. So good to see you. So, where is my aunt? She was supposed to meet me here. To be honest, I don't know. I haven't seen her in nearly a week. She was afraid she wouldn't make it back before you arrived. Why do you say that? Because she gave me something to give to you on her behalf. Why would she have done so if she was expecting to be present? What is it? Maybe it'll tell me how to find her. That may be. She called it a specter. Although I doubt it's a proper name. Juno mentioned that it is some sort of AI symbiote. Whatever that means. Can I see it? Here you go. As to your aunt, frankly, you're in no shape to find her. That's the Rasputin parked in the hangar, isn't it? I hate to say it, but times have changed since that was a worthy ship. <laughs> uh, it's like I said, it's Junker. What do you mean? Well, you've got no deflector, no tractor beam, that whole plating is like paper, and to be frank, your weapon systems are practically pop guns. No offense. 
Any suggestions? I can get you an upgrade or two. Juno would never forgive me if I sent you off to your inevitable doom. I can't afford to let it go for nothing, though. I've got a little something you could help me with in exchange. What kind of something? I've got a shipment of grill whiskey coming in. My supplier, however, seems to have gotten himself into hot water and can't come near the station. I'll give you the payment, and if you can make the exchange, I'll have something for you when you return. It's a deal. Excellent. Here's 500 credits for the payoff and the coordinates where you'll meet. His name is Branson Cole, and he should be waiting for you. Bring the whiskey back, and I'll get you squared away. And I'll have some more information as well. Now I'm on it. Okay, so uh, he's given us the money for the shipment, and I don't have enough money to do any upgrades, but you can go to the shipyard and look at all the different ships that are available for purchase. There's all kinds of different very utilitarian looking ships. <laughs> um, you can go to the equipment bay and upgrade your weapons and defense and components. Um, I actually could get another turret, but I think it's just a waste of money because I'll be buying a newer turret once we get uh, a little more money. So I'm not even going to buy a second turret for now because all I could buy is another scatter turret. And quite frankly, the scatter turrets aren't that great. So um, you can upgrade your shields and your hull and your uh, get you a deflector, which is like a temporary shield boost that blocks all damage. And then you have components where you can upgrade your engines and warp drive and boosters and all kinds of different cool stuff. So it's a pretty uh, pretty neat little upgrade system. Pretty easily understood. Um, you also have a mission board that you can uh, get side missions. Uh, of course, you can go to the bar and get different kinds of news. And then there's the commodities market where you can go and do trades. You can buy these goods and then sell them at uh, other stations. Um, apparently... Um, Soy paste is pretty popular commodity here in the Rebel Galaxy. Uh, lots of vegetarians and vegans. Shout out. hey -o! <laughs> Hooray! Every kid loves soy paste. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get going here. Let's go make this delivery. And um, let's see if we can find this guy. So, um, Engines at maximum. You can uh, find where you're supposed to be going by these little diamonds here. Primary mission to exchange. So we want to get around this planet first before we can... Uh, oops. If you if you hold down your boost too long, you uh, will run out of gas. And uh, not gas. Run out of energy and then uh, you have to wait until you can... Uh, ooh. Oh, I'm getting too close to the planet there. Yikes. Get away from the planet. Away from the planet. Get away from the planet. There we go. Okay. So then uh, once you get away from big planetary bodies and things, you can engage your warp engine. Engage! And then uh, if you get close to some other planetary body, uh, it will automatically exit. I think it does that if you get close to uh, all kinds of different things like asteroids and enemies and things like that. So... Pretty cool stuff, and from what I can tell so far, it's kind of random in the uh, universe generation, because I don't remember passing by this big Saturn-like planet the first time I played, or the second time. So, all right. Um, Incoming hail. So it here's Branson Cole. We're supposed to be meeting him. Um, let's talk to him here. Hailing. Hey there, or as you send you, you got my payment. And yeah, he did. Here's the cash. Or, yeah, but honestly, I think I'll keep it for myself. Hand over the cargo or I'll blow a hole clear through you. <laughs> I may be a smuggler, but I'm kind of a good gas smuggler, so... Pleasure Here's the money. Alright, thank you. Mission complete. So that was an easy one. That was really easy. Matter of fact, all too easy, as Darth Vader would say. And, uh, so let's just get hit... Back into warp, back to the station. Oh, really? Get, get out of here. Get away from me. I got too close to that ship. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. Now I can engage my warp. 
And if you fly through things like uh, asteroid fields and nebula and things like that, you can get uh, a small amount of credits for um, exploring strange new places or discovering new places. So that's kind of a neat little addition that you can explore these new areas. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, a frigate. Uh, yikes! I don't know. Let's see if we. Eh, let's see what we can do here. Like I said, we're kind of at a disadvantage because this is not a very powerful ship. Eh, you know what? Let's not because I don't want to get killed. <laughs> but there's a cool thing you can do. You can use this pulse, and it shows you all of the uh, surrounding enemies and things. So let's just check out this guy here. Yeah, let's check him out. We may we may be able to beat him if there's not like a bunch of them. Uh -huh. Oh hi! Ooh yeah, he's big. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh 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 oh! Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was afraid of. He's a little too tough for us. A little too tough for us. Ooh, we're smoking. We're burning. We're burning. Let's get out of here. So yeah, <laughs> you don't want to mess with people that are far out of your your level. Pretty much, if I, I would say, if your threat level is high. Uh, you're at risk of, uh, of not surviving the encounter. Hmm. There is an engage, I mean a distress signal over here. Let's just check it out right quick. They might, we might be able to help. We'll check it out. Looks like they fell oh crap. Let's take them, boys. Oh man, it was a trap. Look out, it's a trap. Yellow. Fire! Come on. Come on. Come on. Turn this crate. Get him. Get him. Ah! Let's get away from this, uh... Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, we got that one. Let's see if we can uh, let our shields regenerate a little bit here. Maybe uh, take out these other guys here. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Woo! Nice. Nice. Woo! Thank you, Militia. That helped. Thank you very much. Whew. <laughs> so if you have a tractor beam, you can um, you can pick up these little these little things here, like uh, little pieces of cargo and and whatnot. So. You're not going to be any trouble, are you? Uh, no. Thank you. Thank you for your help. So I don't know if we would have survived that with if as uh, militia hadn't showed up. <laughs> But luckily they did, so we're okay. Of course, now we'll have to spend some money replacing our plating there, but that's okay. Okay. So we're here back at Rust City. So let's dock. And we got 8,811 credits for that whiskey mission, so that's good. Let's go to the shipyard right quick, repair ourselves. Repairs complete. Thank you. Now let's go to the rest. I mean, to the bar. Meet with Orzu. Excellent. Many thanks for your help. I've got two options for you here: a deflector and a tractor beam. Deflectors are an excellent defense in combat, and of course, you'll need a tractor to bring objects into Rasputin's hold. I think I'll take the deflector because I think it's a little more important. A fine choice. I'll have my men transfer it to the Rasputin right away. So, about my aunt. Yes, of course. But I was hoping I might trouble you for a quick favor, given how deftly you handled the exchange. 
Well, tell me about it, I suppose. It's a simple matter. I have some items at a remote storage location, and given their contents, it would be best if they weren't discovered by any interested parties. I need them disposed of, at no real risk to you. Alright, I guess I can do that. Perfect. Here is the relevant information. Destroy the containers however you see fit. I'm sure it won't take a moment. Okay. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so let's go... Before we do the mission, let's go to the equipment bay and let's see if we can get our plating upgraded to the ceramic hull plating. Brunk. Yeesh. And we'll sell the old one. Yep. Okay, so that's good. And let's look at the shields. Um, should I get a shield upgrade or should I get a new weapon? Um, this alpha turret is terrible. I think the new cannon is 6,000 and it's not that great. I'd rather save up for this proton cannon. So let's get our second turret. And let's get it, uh, get a pulse turret. It's got a nice range. Um, hmm. Don't know. It's got a 3,200 meter range, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's buy this. Okay. Okay, good. So now we've got uh, we've got two turrets now, the the alpha and the beta, and we've got our uh, plating upgraded. So we should be in good shape. Let's jump out and go to the mission and get started. Get going here. Let's navigate past all this junk. Collision warning. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. All right, so let's get away from this planet so we can uh, get into warp range here. Engage. Operation cleanup. All right, so we're gonna head out here, get rid of any evidence of whatever illegal operation Orzu had going on here. Ooh. All right. We're in a nice little asteroid field. Something cool about asteroid fields is you can get a mining laser, and you can mine resources from these things. So that's pretty cool. Uh oh, I see some enemies behind us, but I don't think. I don't think they are the Poseidon Nebula. So I got 20 credits for just. Uh, discovering this Poseidon Nebula. So let's go over here to these containers and see if we can blow them up or Orzu. So let's slow down a little bit. I don't think I'll need to fly fast to blow up these containers. Got that one. Got that one. Uh, there's one more. Whoop. How'd you like that drift slide there? That was cool. Okay, well that was easy enough. Enemy craft inbound. Uh oh, enemy craft inbound. Engines let's, at maximum. Let's put our. Uh, okay, let's put Engine our warning. sublot engines back up. And here comes the enemy. Ooh, <laughs> we skipped that barely. All right, so let's see if we can get this guy here. Ah. Yeah, nice. I won't forget this. Yeah, you will. Cause you'll be dead. Oh man, wait, that pulse cannon is tearing into him. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going, huh? Where do you think you're going? Oh! Warning! Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! <laughs> Uh oh, I got a little bogey on my my tail here. All right, here we go. Get this guy. Son of a son of a garbled. <laughs> All right, got him. Got some munitions, but unfortunately, I do not have a tractor beam yet. All right, got him. Nice. And one more 
got him. Sweet. Sweet. All right, so let's get out of this junk thing here. All right. And engage warp. We'll head back to Orzu, let him know that his problem was taken care of. Uh, distress beacon. Let's check it out. We're in pretty good shape right now. Let's go see what the distress is. Could be another trap. Alright, here we go. Threat level yellow. Whoa, watch out! Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so sorry about that. Yeah, I'm helping. I'm taking care of it. You just don't worry your pretty little head about it. Alright, here's another one. And they are both out of my range. Alright, let's get a little closer. Ah, right, here we go. He's coming in hard and fast, but he's gonna go down fast too. Take a little broadside action from me. Come on. Come on. Turn this crate around. Turn this crate around. Here he is. Oh, he's out of range again. Gosh dang it. Get this guy. Come on. Don't fly to the other side. Alright, here he is back on this side again. <laughs> Okay, here we go, here we go. Ah, out of range again. Oh, lucky sure for me, my, uh... Out of fire. Got my You're welcome. He gave me 2,030 credits. So that's good. And he increased my relationship with the citizenry by five. So that's good. That'll help me, uh, get, I guess, better jobs and other things eventually. So that's cool. All right, excellent. Good job, good job. Let's see if we can discover this nebula here. Nope, guess not. Too bad. Alright, so let's go back here, tell Orzu we took care of his quote unquote problem. Ah, that's too far away, I think. Oh! <laughs> that was. Whoa! Yeah! That could have been bad. Watch out for those planets. Maybe trip you up a little bit. All right, and we're here. Woo! <laughs> Hit the brakes! Hit the space brakes! Okay, so we are back. Let's go to. It looks like we didn't take any damage. So let's go to the bar here. Talk to Orzu. Ah, so you're reliable. I can see Juno's influence. Thank you again for your help. Okay, favor's done. Now it's time for you to hold up your end. Yes, yes, of course. Well, if you want to track Juno down, I think your most likely bet is to speak with Sandar, her, uh, partner. Partner? Well, how much do you know about your aunt's, uh, activities? I know she was a hell of a trader and made a lot of money out here on the frontier. That's one way to look at it. Most folks would call it smuggling, though. And Sendar moved the goods for her. You should try and get in touch with him. He's at some scabby station at the edge of the system. I'll mark it on your chart. Thanks, I'll check it out. Okay. So... Um, we got 8,374 credits, and we've got a new mission to find the Sandar character. Let's go in here and get our shields upgraded. Um, by that, yes. Yes. Okay, and, um, we've got a deflector now, so that's good. Let's see how much a tractor beam is. It's 4,500, so I don't quite have enough. Um... Let's go back to the weapons. Let's look at the turrets. I think there's... How much is the flak turret? The flak turret is 5,200. So, don't have enough for that either. So, um, we're pretty much stuck with what we got right now until we do some more missions. And uh, so, we'll just wait on any further purchases for now.
So I'm going to bring this first episode to a close. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Rebel Galaxy. Uh, if you did, um, let me know in the comments. Throw me some likes and uh, stay tuned for more Rebel Galaxy. Uh, it is available on Steam right now for around $20. So uh, you should check it out if this interests you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.